she is 14 months old, and she is my great-granddaughter. She has Down syndrome. She's a precious little girl. And let me give you a little bit of the background on her history. She had a terrible, her mother, Holly, my granddaughter, had a terrible drug history, and uh, Holly had a very, 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 very bad childhood. The mother would take her dolls and throw them in the garbage can and just treated her poorly. Well, she ended up in, uh, at that time, my husband and my hands, and we had her for a while, and we grew really, really close to her. And so Holly and her family lives in Texas. And on, I think it was Thursday night, I got a text over my phone, and you know how these things go with the text nowadays. You don't know if they're for real, if it's somebody trying to get some money out of you. And it said, hi, Grandma. I'm going to be in your neck of the hoods, woods tomorrow. Can we come and visit? And with no name or nothing. And I don't talk to her, and I didn't recognize the number that much. So I waited for a while, and I said, I text back, I said, who is this? And then it got to thinking, I said, I bet it's Holly. And I said, is this Holly? And she said, oh, Grandma, I'm so sorry. I should have told you that it was me. So anyway, the next evening they uh, arrived. And Holly has another little uh, girl, a leash, that is three years old. And when that little Down syndrome child got out of that truck, it just got my heart so much. And it, and it, it, it just flooded back the, another reason for the Iwanas. Those little people are so special. And she just has these big brown eyes, and she just, she just is adorable. Her mother, um, she has had three major surgeries in 14 months. She had heart holes in her heart at first, and then she had uh, something, I'm not sure what it was all about with her bowel system, that they had to go and take something out. She was on a bag for a while, and then they had to go back in and repair that. And this child is 14 months old, but smiles all the time. Her mother says, Grandma, when I have to release, release her from my arms, when I take, let her go to surgery, she says, I just cry. But she says, when she comes out of that surgery, she is smiling. And it's, it's just, the, just the manner of it, you know. And we have this little dog, Willow, at our house. I've had her for almost 12 years now. And she likes kids, but she kind of standoffish to them, you know. Well, that little baby was sitting on the floor in the bedroom when I was talking to Holly. And that little dog went over and just rolled all over that baby. She knew that was a special baby. And it just touched my heart. It just, um, and I told Alan, I said, I, I got to share this with my church people because it just touched my heart so much. So very, very much. So I really don't have much more of a sermon. Not that, that we call it a sermon. But because um, I went through the eye thing and um, I told you about Anna and I told you about Awanas and um, I think maybe we'll just sing our last song and kind of a benediction and our praise God to all whom all you know that one <laughs> Alan don't listen to this <laughs> anyway um, this last song I sang it right before Bob and Verla May left and Verla played this piano for me and it looks like she's going to do it again um, it's called In His Time and this song really means a lot to me too. It just, because at the time I found it, um, as I told you then, I was caretaker for my son that was passing with ALS. And I sang it to him several times every day. And it's just a, a song to me that just says it all about how Jesus will make everything right, regardless of what your situation is. And so I would like to sing that for you now, if you don't mind. It's 465 in the hymn line. Perfectly fine. Maybe I better get it open to see the right page. Just a second. teaching me your way that you do just what you say 
in your time in your time in your time you make all things beautiful in your time lord my life i bring to you may each song i have to sing be to you a lovely thing in your time Thank you. I appreciate that. Listening to this book, it's funny how our voices change as we go through the years. And in Titus, our last chapter that we read for this week, uh, chapter 3, 1 and 2, remind the people to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be, obedient, to be ready to do whatever is good, to slander no one, to be fe- peaceable, and considerate, and always to be gentle toward everyone. Our people must learn to devote themselves to doing what is good in order to provide for urgent needs and not live unproductive lives. And we'll do the um, great God from who all is. Doxology, there we go. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you. Have a great week. And thanks for being here. Thanks for putting up with me.